Um, I, I feel like I look like a little bit of a cult leader in this shirt. I like it, so maybe this is my aesthetic now. Like, some people's aesthetic is alt, some people's aesthetic is cottage core. This is more, um, come, come to my cottage and never leave. That kind of is something that I would do though. Except it wouldn't be a cult, like you wouldn't have to do shit that you didn't want to do. It would more just be like a, a commune for sensitive people. I really like that idea. Um, okay, so, wait, I'm gonna set this up so that I'm in the middle of the lamp. So let's make it even more culty. Community. So I posted like a 60 second video to my Instagram and to my TikTok this week, which I always link down below. If you don't follow me on those things, then do. Can I not sound like a cult leader for two seconds? Follow me. But yeah, do, um, do it. No, um, <laughs> I posted a 60 second video of just sort of my everyday makeup, which changes just, I'd make little tweaks to my routine every now and then. And every time I make little tweaks to it, I'm like, this is genius. How haven't I always been doing this? I realized that I only like know how to do my makeup because I've like fucked around so much. And so I thought like, seeing as I fucked around so much, maybe I might be of use to some people. If you want to skip the fucking around stage and just go straight to, cute, looks good, then uh, stick around because this is gonna be my everyday makeup for fall. Also, isn't it fucking whack that like, liking fall is such a controversial topic? I like fall, <laughs> you basic. I think it's so embarrassing when people make fun of people for liking things that like are generally liked. It means it's good. Okay, so I'm gonna start off and also like, I realize that I do my makeup in like a different order to like what a lot of people do, but guess what? This is my internet house and you're in it. In this house, I do what I want. I'm starting off by using the Soft Matte Complete Foundation from NARS in the shade Fiji Light 5. And I only use like the tiniest little bit of this, like you'll see. It's a wee bit. And then I can always add more later. Also starting off, like to prep my face, I just do my skincare routine. Like I, I only really use like primers and things like that when I'm planning on doing like a full face. And what we're doing right now is definitely more of a natural everyday sort of thing. And if you wanna watch my skincare routine, like for how I prep my skin, uh, I'll link that down below too. And I really only just put it, I think that everybody knows their own face best and like knows like where they would like the most coverage. But typically I, I, I know that people um, usually like to get under their eyes, like do a little concealing there. But I always just do it around under my eyes and on top of my eyes, cause for some reason really veiny. What I like about this foundation is that it requires no skill. You can really just put it on your face and like, kind of like work it around until it's in there. And then I don't wash my hand because um, it's the same color as my hand and then I don't notice and then I get it on my white cult leader shirt. So next I'm gonna use this liquid blush from Freck Beauty. It's called Cheek Slime and I use the shade Cuffed. I just put a wee bit right onto um, this brush that I haven't washed in a long time. And like really a tiny bit, do you see that? Can it focus? Wow, that was so fucking satisfying. You don't really need a lot of this. A little really does go a long way. I hate when I say shit that I'm like, everybody says that shit because we're all just pieces of shit saying the same shit. And then I feel like I'm like, you know, part of the simulation, but fuck it. If I'm part of the simulation, I'm here for a fucking good time and a long time. I hate when you have to choose. What do you mean? You're here for a good time, not a long time. Can't I have a good time forever? And I just go back to the, um beauty blender when I want to make sure that it's like properly blended in because I don't like to have that like thick line that separates from I want it to like blend out see pretty color okay so that is my base this is what I'm working with mm, also like do this early on so that your lips have time to like be moisturized I'm just using a very basic um lip balm oh just to like finish this bottom layer of shit um, off. I'm gonna use this bronzer from NARS. Look at my tripod. Look at you. <laughs> Look at me. And I just like to put it like right at the top of my forehead so that my forehead isn't all like one color. And I put it like right under here too. I don't know what like huge difference this makes, but I do it. I feel like that's the danger with using, cause like I did say, I used a full coverage foundation, but I use a very little bit of it. The danger with doing that is that your face can look very two dimensional cause you just make it all one color and then you're just like. Now I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes. 
and I don't have a man nearby to scare. Somebody on the video that I posted, because in the video that I posted, Joe was watching me kill my eyelashes and he looked very confused, which is always very funny to me. Someone's like, why are boys always scared of eyelash curlers? And I like to put everything into perspective, right? Like if an alien came down to earth, which I hope they do, if they saw me doing the thing, would they be like, what? And absolutely. Like, I'm kind of on anybody's side if they think that this is like a little bit weird because I know why we're doing it. It like really does open up your eyes more. Like you can kind of see the difference. Look, hang on. It just opens up your eyes nicely, but does it look fucking terrifying? Yes. Oh, this is the fun part actually. I like this part. So I've been absolutely loving using this palette from NARS. Um, it is, oh, I just put my finger in it. Yay. Um, fuck. Uh, it's um, called the Orgasm Quad. So I use this like really nice dusty pink color. Um, I just take it and put it right in the crease. If I can do it, you can do it too. I just use my crease as my guide and just so simple, look. And this really does just add a little bit of depth to your beautiful peepers. Never say that word again. Peepers gives off older gentlemen hitting on you at a at a bar thing. And then next I'm gonna take this lovely sparkly pink color and I'm just gonna uh, swipey swipe swipe it across my lids. Notice how I'm using the exact same brush and I didn't give a fuck. I highly recommend doing the same. It makes very little difference. I'm gonna go back to that um, dusty pink color and just with this like flat brush. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna hold it right by my face so you can see. And I just take that and put it all the way up until, I don't do it like right up until the corners, but pretty much I stop like right about there. And it's very soft, it's very subtle, but it really is just to like lightly define your eyes. Okay, and so next what I'm gonna do is take exact same brush <laughs> and I'm gonna take this light shimmery color and I'm just gonna, that's what I put on the inner corners of my eyes. That's another thing somebody told me not to do. Someone told me I shouldn't highlight the inner corners of my eyes because I have wide set eyes and it makes me look like a bug. And um, I don't know about you, but bugs are cute. As long as they stay the fuck off me. So next I'm using this dark brown eyeliner from Urban Decay. It is in the shade Corrupt. I like when my makeup is named after things that make me feel like a bad girl, cause you know. Never done a bad thing ever. And I just really get up like super close to my lash line right there. I extend a little bit past my lash line and just rub it so that I get, it's not really a cat eye, it's more of a kitten eye. Also something that I do um, whenever I wanna feel less like a bug is I just take it on the inner corner and literally just a hint. You see the difference between these two eyes? That one looks closer to my, my bridge now, right? Don't let people on the internet bully you into changing your makeup. Be like, not me. And now, ah, havoc. So now I'm gonna do my mascara and my mascara is from Wonder 2. It is called Wonder Extensions. I never know if people need me to tell them how to do mascara. <laughs> but what I do is I just get it really close to the bottom of my lashes, like without sticking it in your eye. And then I just move it side to side and then brush. And I only put like a really light amount on the bottom eyelashes cause I don't really like, I have pretty long eyelashes. I don't love making the bottom ones longer. The spidery lashes thing looks great on some people. It don't look very cute on me. It always looks a little bit weird when the eyes are the only thing that's finished and then the rest of your face is just kind of like. So now moving on to my eyebrows, I use this pencil from Hourglass. It's in the shade Platinum Blonde. Blah, blah, blah. Platinum Blonde. I like this one because the tip of it is like kind of wide. I'm gonna hold it really close to my face so you can see. You can play around with like filling it like over here, I use it wide. And then when I go over here, I use the skinny end of it. And then I always just brush it out so that it has a more natural texture. I don't know why I'm speaking as if I'm doing my lipstick. <laughs> I always brush it out. I hate the saying, eyebrows are sisters, not twins, because, and I've definitely said this before, I, my eyebrows are twins. I, I just have an evil twin. And then I take this eyebrow gel from Charlotte Tilbury. It's called Legendary Brow. This is in the sage, the sage or the state? Shade, oh my God. And really, I just use it 
to give a little texture because my eyebrows are very thin. I only do like a really light once over so that they kind of stay in place and just so that they're a little more defined, which is by the way, one of my favorite makeup words to use because it's one of the only ones that I know. Okay, so this portion of my face pretty much done. So what we're gonna do is move on to the thing that's gonna make me look less scary, my lips. I have been absolutely obsessed with this color. It's from Laura Mercier. It's just, it's just a lip liner, but it's in the shade Hazelnut Tea. And the color I think is just beautiful for fall, especially because it's a little, uh, it, it's still like the kind of like perfect nude, but it's a little richer. You'll see. I don't know why I'm describing it to you when you're about to see it on my face. What I do is I just line the outside generously and like use lip balm because it makes it way easier when it comes time to smoosh. Oh yeah. And something that I've been super into doing recently um, is overlining just slightly like this, right? Because I have quite a strong Cupid's bow, which I do love. I think that it's cute but I'm also kind of into the look where I make it a little more shallow so that it makes my top lip look a little bit fuller. And now what I'm gonna do, some days I don't do this, but today I'm looking like particularly shiny. I don't know if it's cause you guys make me know this or what. I am just gonna do a little powder in places that, you know, I'm a little bit shiny, just like here. And the powder that I'm using is from Laura Mercier. It's really, really nice. It's, um, it's the Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder. It's really, really, really nice because it doesn't, I feel like with a lot of powders, when you put it on, uh, you get that sort of like cakey look immediately and any fine lines that you do have, which is very normal. Everybody has lines on their face. And if you don't, maybe you should smile more. But I feel like some, a lot of powders, when you put them on, um, sort of accentuate those lines. This just really sits really nicely on your skin. It feels soft, it feels lovely. Stunning. And something that I feel like adding to my lips just, just because it, it like I, I sometimes really enjoy the like matte texture of them, but something that I've been really, really loving is this lip palette from Seraphine Botanicals and it's in the shades are rhubarb and rose. But see, I do, all these colors I just think are super, super cute. And whenever I just want, and I feel like for the one that I have on now, I kind of want to make it a, I'm gonna do like a mix between these two. I'm gonna make it a little more fall-y. And I'm just gonna put that just to give me a little bit of shine. Why do I get so excited when I see, <laughs> when I see my makeup coming together that I do every day? I'm like, ah! <laughs> So my highlighter that I'm going to be using is from Laura Mercier and it is in the shade Indiscretion. I don't know why that's sexy, but it is. But I'm about to show you what's sexy. So I just take some of that and I, you know, do practice a lot of self-restraint. I do love highlighter. It's a very new thing for me too, like learning how to do this. And I only put it on these like high points of my face. I put it in the arches of my eyebrows, top of my cheekbones. And then I always, so my nose, I like to put it, so I, like that's the tip of my nose, right? I like to put it just above the tip of my nose. Don't know why. I've, I've played around and I feel like it looks better. And then I just put it just along the bridge a little bit. Cute! I'm getting really uncomfortably close to you guys so that you can see it. But this is my everyday makeup for fall. I hope that I did a good job showing you. If there's anything that you would like to like know more about, like you can ask me in the comments or we could, we could meet up at a, at a cottage somewhere, the, the commune for sensitive people. And um, we can all wear shirts like this. Um, okay, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, I've been having a real like a lot of fun being bored and like playing around with makeup So if there's anything else that you would like to see me try if there's anything else that you want to just talk about I really enjoy like talking to you guys. It's really fun for me to have internet friends So please make sure you like and subscribe. I will see you soon Yeah, that's it. Goodbye. I'm gonna give you a kiss